So now the next piece that you are ready for is playing steps on page 31. Okay, so can you describe to your teacher and me what a step is? Um, it's one white key to the very next white key. <gasps> That's all. So if you're playing middle C, what would be the step up from middle C? D. E. D, absolutely. And what would be a step up from F? You can find any F on the piano you want and then go ahead and find a step up from F. You're gonna find F and then a step up from F. That's G. It. G, good. Now, so let's go ahead and do a step down from a note. How about if you find a B? Any B you would like to on the instrument. <laughs> Would be that's a step up. Good for you. What would be a step down from the B? A. Yes, you're so smart. Good for you. All right, wonderful. So this piece is actually a little technical exercise. And while you're playing it, it would be a really good idea for you to find your perfect piano hands. So why don't we put our hands up like this? You can show Miss Dana. And remember, oh, your hands look so good. I can see them so well in the, in the camera. And we want to see those four little knuckles, right, on each hand. And we call them, do you remember what we call those little four knuckles? The four hills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those four little hills. Yes. Okay. So if you can keep nice, strong fingers with those four little hills, you're going to be just a consummate pianist. Good for you. Okay. So are you ready to play this piece? Do you think you want to go over anything else? Do you think you want to go over the rhythm before you play it? Or do you think you're pretty confident about it? It's up to you. What do you yep, think? It's up to you. What do you think? First, you ready to play? Go ahead. You are? Okay, good. <laughs> fingers that aren't playing anything at the end on a white key. So look at this. Let's see if you can see me. Hold on. Let's see. So once you play the very last two notes, can you put your little fingers resting on the white keys like that? Can you try that? Try this one last chord. Just drop a little. Nice. Good for you. All right. Your fingers were really resting on the white keys. Good for you. And Miss Dana taught you the drip drop roll already. That's fantastic. Good. Okay. Your rhythm was excellent. Your four little hills on each hand were great. Have you tried playing that with a left hand by chance? No. No. You want to try it? Why don't we try it? Because we don't want to have your right hand get all the glory. You want your left hand to play something too. So when you play this piece, can you start with your little fifth finger on C? Okay, you wanna try that? And you could actually use the C below middle C. So where would be, yes. And do you know why I said that you could start it on that C? Do you have any idea why? How does that feel compared to if you put your left hand on middle C with your fifth finger? What does you that feel? feel? Yeah, how's that feel? Do you feel kind of scrunched up? Do you feel like an alligator with your little with little arms like that? <laughs> so if you move your left hand down an octave, you're going to feel more comfortable. That's why I did that. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and try this whole piece with your left hand now? 
So you're going to play the exact same keys that you played before. It's just going to feel different because you're playing it in your left hand. Okay, go for it. Try it. <laughs> perfect piano hand good for you madeline that really was the first time you've ever tried that good for you yeah. you're smart you are very smart good 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 all right that was wonderful and do you know what your forte was excellent don't you think oh yeah i think so too and guess how many measures were in this piece can you count them again how many measures So measures are, yeah, there you go. Yes, there you go. Four. Yes. Four in one hand, in one hand, yeah. Or I mean, in one line. And then what was on the next line? How many measures? Eight. Yeah, eight all together. Yeah, so you'll notice that, my goodness, most of these pieces have eight measures. Yeah, good. 